Hi, I'm here with James Fredrickson at Connected North. James, uh, Hyperoptic have got a footprint all over the UK, expanding into the north uh, and even uh, into Scotland at the moment. Um, I think you're approaching nearly a million homes past. Um, what's the state of the footprint and, and what are the plans for the future? You're right, so we're um, coming up to 850,000 premises passed at the moment, so we're really excited about hitting the one million figure pretty soon. Um, we're coming up to a quarter of a million customers on the network as well, so we're showing that it's not just about building the network, you've got to make sure it's actually connecting customers that want the service as well. And you're right, we're in a, uh, 57 towns and cities across the United Kingdom, and that's just not uh, focused in one area, we're length and breadth of the country. Um, and you mentioned Scotland, we've just signed the um, Scottish Government's Full Fibre Charter, which is a, a, a cross-industry government agreement to support the rollout of Full Fibre across the whole of Scotland. So we're really, really excited. Um, lots of ambition for the future. We want to get that uh, footprint to 2 million by the end of 2023 and have an ambition to go even further as long as the market environment is supportive of that. So it's a really exciting time for us. Okay, great. There's some ambitious targets there. You mentioned what the Scottish Government are supporting with you. A, a, a government in general are helping enough? What else could they do? So I think in the in the big ambition sense, government has done a, a really, really excellent job over the last five or six years. You can take a step back a few years and think about where our industry was in fixed broadband. We were dominated by uh, a big incumbent, Openreach, and a big challenger, Virgin Media. Uh, and a lot of the regulation during, the, during that period is about driving down retail prices. And so it really wasn't about competition at the network level, it was about competition at the retail level. And government sent a pretty clear message to say, no, in, in the fit, uh, future telecoms infrastructure review, a landmark piece of, uh, uh, of government policy, saying what the future should be, that Ofcom should encourage investment in uh, the network operator level instead of just focusing on retail. And that and subsequent uh, legislation like the Statement of Strategic Priorities and Ofcom's market review a couple of years ago, that's really changed the environment and now we're seeing lots of private capital coming in uh, supporting network like ours, like City Fibers and in rural areas like GigaClear. Uh, an absolute landscape change in comparison to what it was many years ago and that's a fantastic benefit for consumers and businesses across the country because they're not just relying on one or two operators now, there's a genuinely competitive market. And that competitive market, there seems to be a lot of talk today encouraging that and saying that competition is a good thing, it helps drive down prices, it helps potentially make sure other players are improving their networks too. Is there any point where the competition though uh, becomes uh, a lack of efficiency if people are ending up working and building networks in the same areas? Is overbuild an issue? So I think that question and the answer to it varies on where you're looking at in the country. So if you look at urban areas, I think there's a, there's a reasonable expectation to say that in some of those areas you'd expect three, maybe four networks that could drive a, a genuine margin that could, could be a sustainable business. But if you look at, say, a very, very rural area, you can probably only have one. And even then, in some of the most rural areas, you might need state aid. So the intervention needs to be different in different areas. If you see scale overbuild in some of those rural areas, that's going to be really inefficient. And also at the same time, I think most people here would say at some point the market will move to a point of consolidation. Um, but at the moment, there's lots of capital coming in, into the industry. There's still plenty of the country that needs full fiber. There's still plenty of work to do. So I still think we're in the early days. Um, but it wouldn't shock me if in the next two to three years we start to see some uh, M&A in the market as that, as that trend kind of carries on to its next phase. Interesting. Well, there's clearly there's still a lot of interest in this market. This is a buzzy Busy event, a busy event this first Connected North. Events like this are also helpful to, for, for Hyperoptic and others to, to be part of this community? Definitely. I, and it's, it's all well and good for some of us to come, come here and talk about the benefits of Full Fibre, but many of us know that already. But I think it sends a, a broader reminder to policy makers, to decision makers, to influencers that there's still so much to be done. And I'll give you one example, there's a very prominent local authority, I won't name them, that we've been working with. We want to connect some of their social housing. And they've been saying to us, oh no, we, we don't want you to connect uh, the houses with full fibre. Uh, another operator, and again I won't name them, uh, has said they're coming here in the next three years and we're happy with that. And so it's easy for us to sit here and say, oh isn't it all wonderful what we're doing, but there's still a message to be telling people in local government, uh, in other businesses, in other parts of our sector and in our supply chain, there's still so much to be done and we need to get that message across because whilst we're sat here running into that kind of red tape, there's still people out there stuck on sub-superfast speeds 
who can't work from home, who can't have their children uh, uh, getting educated online, which we saw the pains of that during the pandemic, and it really degrades your way of life. And so we need to get on with doing that job. Fantastic. Well, good luck with continuing success at Hyperoptic and hope you have a great conference. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you.